you clicked on this video, this is probably you. You load into a new save file, want to start your new park, you place down the entrance building, but you don't know where to go from there. And then after a long time sitting around in the empty save file, you're just gonna end up building a similar entrance to what you did in your previous park. And then sometimes you don't know where to go from there, where to build your first exhibit, how to lead into your first habitat and how to flow the entire park. But in this video I'm going to show you how to build your parks effortlessly from the ground up without having any struggle like this. My first tip is to instead of focusing on the entrance building is to actually not care about the entrance of your park. Instead you're just gonna uh, take something that you want to build, some kind of habitat, some kind of idea that you have and just build that. And from there you can build the rest of your park, maybe you can even build the entrance next like I've done before. But basically you can even just take uh, some kind of habitat out of one of my speed build videos and just rebuild that and then start your park from there and start off, instead of starting out with the entrance. For an example of that, we have this park over here, my tropical park, where I started out building this lagoon for the Shonosaurus and Archelon uh, with this nice path of design and then I later built the entrance and later built the entire park around it, sort of making it flow into one another, instead of building the entrance first. As a last example, we have this park right here, where I ended up building a, a Mosasaurus design. Uh, a path art design. Uh, basically I had the idea for the first time to sort of build a Mosasaurus path art design uh, leading up to the lagoon and then I basically built that, then I built the rest of the park around that and actually the last thing that was built in this park was the entrance um, that you can see right here. Basically what I'm trying to say is that some of my best parks were built using this technique, just starting out building something that I'm excited to build and then going from there and building the entrance later. If you're struggling with starting your parks you should definitely try out this trick. Most park entrances I personally see are just basic main streets, then later maybe a Jurassic Park gate, something cool, you know, something to always incorporate in your park, it's always a nice idea, but it's just really simple and we basically want to get as far away as possible from that when designing our park entrances. My first tip is to place your park entrance in the middle of the park, in the middle of the map, instead of just on the edge, this is gonna make it a lot more interesting. When designing your entrance plaza, instead of placing everything left and right and in a very simple orientation or maybe even in the middle, you want to place the things you know, in a more interesting uh, angle and then basically shape the path around those things and you have your uh, entrance plaza shape completed. My next tip is elevation. This is one of the best and most impactful things to incorporate in your entrance. This entrance has a very simple design. Um, basically it's just, you know, some path, it's some shops, but what makes it unique is the height elevation uh, where the guests first look down on the first habitat from a higher uh, point of view and then from a lower point of view. And you also have one of the towers overlooking the entrance in the back. Here's another park entrance. This one was built in the middle of the park, uh, like I previously suggested. We also use a lot of elevation here. So the guests basically first uh, get to look at the rest of the park and sort of, you know, get an impression of that. And then you have one pathway that leads down into the park and one that would lead the guests back into the park and back into the exit. So the entrance would actually double as an entrance and an exit and your guests can that way loop around the park very nicely which always creates a nice flow to your parks. My last tip for something you can add to entrances is hotel areas. Those always just make a lot of sense to have in your entrance. Uh, you can build a little area right there, also add like somewhat of a beach. Uh, and with some of those, you know, new chairs uh, for the guests to lie on, I don't know how those are called. And then you have some parasols to create a nice little beach area as well. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out with ideas, tips and tricks for starting your own park and building park entrances. But before I give you a final rundown of these tips, I would ask you to return the favor and help me out by subscribing for future videos to my channel and liking the video. So to concise it all down, my tips were to start from a random habitat in your park instead of the entrance, to place the entrance in the middle of the map, to place your desired buildings on the entrance plaza before the path, to use elevation in your entrance and to build hotel areas. And if you combine all of these tips, you will end up getting results just like this one. Also, if you've made it this far into the video, I want you to comment down below your favorite type of pasta. I don't know, for some reason, but anyways, guys, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.